Hello YouTube, uh, Spade MC Gamer here, and uh, today I'm back with another mod installation tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Doctor Zach's Mo Creatures mod from Minecraft 1.4.7. Um, it was updated there just recently, so um, yeah, so there's new creatures, elephants, mammoths, kangaroos, dragons, and other stuff. So if you want to check them out, just have a look at that video there. But um, anyway, uh, to get started, you want to go to the link in the description, which will be the this Doctor Zach's Mo Creatures uh, Doctor Zach's Mo Creatures forum page. Once you get here, uh, just scroll down the page, past them videos, until you see download the mod. And all you have to do is click the first link right here in blue, Mo Creatures Mod, version 4.5. Uh, that will bring you to an add fly link, I'll show you right here. So once you click it, it brings you to an add fly link. And as you can see here in the top right hand corner, it says please wait. So you just have to wait 5 seconds and then you can go skip add. Press skip add. And then all you have to do is wait for a second. And here we have a Mediafire download. And all you have to do is click that download right there. I'm not going to do it because I already have it uh, in, uh, downloaded. So I'm just going to go back to the page here. But that's all you have to do. It's not that hard. Like it's it's easy enough to download. So once you have that downloaded. Um, all you have to do is download the next three files as well. The, foreign, uh, the Forge client. Uh, GUI API and custom mob spawner. Uh, if you clicked direct right there after uh, Minecraft Forge, uh, you'll download it without going anywhere, so that's really handy. So just click direct and it'll download automatically. Um, then the GUI API is also another automatic download, so you just click that and it'll download. And the custom mob spawner is exactly the same as the Mo Creatures. So that's pretty much it guys, that's all you need uh, to install the mod. So once you have them four files downloaded, uh, just drag them out into your desktop or wherever. Uh, I find them easier to work with on my desktop. Uh, so as you can see right here the GUI API is in a .jar file form uh, don't worry about that I'll show you how to work that now in a minute uh, it confused the people at first when it first came out but uh, I now I know how to figure it out now so it's it I got it working but um yeah so anyway uh, next you want to go to your windows icon and in the search bar type percentage mark app data percentage mark that's a percentage mark a p p d a t a percentage mark and just click enter and you should see a, a folder here called dot minecraft you want to go inside that folder next you should see a bin folder bin you want to go inside that folder too and then you should find a file here called minecraft minecraft.jar uh, executable jar file it should be biggest file here uh, in relative to the others what you want to do is left click it and then right click it and open with winrare archive now if you don't have winrare look up on winrare or look up on youtube winrare for a free trial you get a free trial that's what i'm using and you can just download the free trial and uh, as you can see it's a free trial so this thing pops up but all you have to do is X out of that and then you have it uh, the first thing you want to do after you open with WinRare is delete the meta INF folder just delete that straight away otherwise the mod will not work uh, don't exit out of this folder or file down here just leave it right here uh, next you want to open up Minecraft Forge just drag it to the side here so we can see we have Minecraft Forge open right here and then our uh, minecraft.jar right here so all we have to do is right click in here select all files drag them inside here and drop them into there and then just click ok and that's it now uh, don't delete any files in there or anything after you've deleted the meta inf uh, there is a meta inf folder in minecraft forge but that's that's with minecraft forge so just delete the one that comes in the minecraft.jar but then leave the other one alone because i heard some people were deleting deleting it and they said it worked still worked but like just don't go messing with the files in here but um, yeah, so once you have that installed, guys, you can exit out of them two folders. At this point, you want to run Minecraft. So just log into Minecraft, and uh, you should see that it'll set up new files. And if I go back to my .minecraft file right here, as you can see, new files have been generated by Minecraft Forge. So you just have to let it generate them files. Bit slow. Come on. So just give it a second, guys, to generate them files. Here we go. As you can see, my Minecraft loads up perfectly. New uh, folders and stuff have been done in there. And three mods loaded, three mods are active. So uh, my Minecraft Forge is working. So now I just quit out of Minecraft again. So the first, now you can move Minecraft Forge to, to the side there. You don't need that anymore. So the first thing you want to do is find your core mods folder. Core mods folder, it should be generated by Minecraft Forge. So you want to go inside that core mods folder. And what you do is drag the GUI API uh, .jar file inside the core mods folder, okay? Then you go back 
and you should see a folder called just mods okay so you want to go inside that folder and drag the doctor's axe mo creatures mod and the custom mob spawner in there so you've put the gui api in the core mods folder and the other two in mods just mods folder so that's it guys uh, it should be installed i'll exit out of that now and run my minecraft and uh, we'll check if it worked this might just take a second to log in because i'm recording come on here we go as you can see minecraft is 1.4.7 so and this should work for 1.4.89 like it did all that will be different is the downloads uh, the files will be just the same they'll just be updated downloads so uh, don't worry if you're seeing this and minecraft is a is a different uh is a different uh, thing it should still work and if it doesn't i'll post on the video like i'll say in the video that i'll put up a link or whatever and uh, i'll say that it, this doesn't work for such and such version of minecraft anywhere anymore but it should work so there shouldn't be any problems as you can see right here guys uh, here's we have a uh, oh sound is very high here we have a crocodile and here we have a duck and what else here we have a tur tur a turtle he's pretty cute and um, yeah so guys as you can see the mod is working perfectly i can hear the sounds and everything so there's no problems or anything and um, so yeah that's going to be it oh here's actually a new mob this is the uh, komodo dragon guys actually i haven't seen this myself yet he looks pretty cool. Well, why don't we just kill him for the crack? <laughs> we'll kill him and see what he does. He poisoned me. And he dropped... He dropped crocodile hide and Komodo dragon egg, yeah. Oh, come on, fly. There we go. Oh, yeah, um, yeah guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, please like the video if it, if it worked for you. And subscribe. I have lots more videos like this out in the future. And also, like, Minecraft Let's Plays and Black Ops gameplay and all kinds of different videos. So yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.